Today, I will be stepping in my laundry room to share with you the laundry cart that has made my laundry room really organized. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So I shared this slim laundry cart on my channel, I want to say in the very beginning, in like 2015. And I will be honest with you, I had that laundry cart labeled to like three labels per shelf. There are four shelves to this one slim cart. I really think that a person can be too organized. I know, you heard me say that. You can be too organized, and that was way too organized for me to have a label that said laundry detergent on it and static guard, you guys, that's just not, that's way too organized. So, all the labels came off, and we have been using this cart in the same way since 2015. Right now, the cart is $29.99, but right now I looked it up and it is on sale for $17.99. It is very slim. It fits perfectly between my washer and my dryer. Now, I will tell you I've seen several other people with the same type of cart from other places. So, if I can figure out where they have gotten those, I will link those in the description as well. Because maybe you don't have a container store near you. Maybe you don't want to pay to have it shipped to you. I will try to leave some alternatives in the description below as well. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into my laundry room and I'm going Going to share with you how I have this cart organized. Now we are in my laundry room and actually I'm standing in my kitchen pointing the camera in my laundry room. So this is my kitchen here and then you'll see Bella she is eating. The reason Bella's food has got to be left on the top of the dryer because Armani will eat it if it's anywhere near him. So we've had to move her food to the dryer. So that is where she eats her food to keep it from nosy from eating it because it will make him really sick if he eats it. So if you're wondering the little white tub in the floor, that is down there for my microfiber cloths. So when they need to be cleaned, I just put them there to the side because they're washed separate. So washer and dryer and in the middle is where I have my little laundry cart. So the laundry cart is nestled between the washer and the dryer. So that is what the laundry cart looks like. It has rollers on the bottom. So it fits nicely just right in between the washer and the dryer and it glides out pretty easy like so and this is what we have on it. So I did take everything off this a few weeks ago and cleaned it because being in the laundry room it does get really dusty. So, this top shelf here basically holds all the stuff that I reach for the most often. Now, we are trying to switch detergents. I'm, going, I'm trying a new detergent. So, if you've been part of this community for any length of time, you know I have loved and still love the Method um, laundry detergent. This is the Ginger Mango. That is my favorite. But, I saw some consumer reports that said this Purcell... I don't know how to pronounce it. ProClean is one of the top laundry brands and they say it came from Europe. It's a European brand, I think is what I read. And it's just now making it to the States. So I thought, you know what? Let me give that a shot. And you guys, I am really liking this. It costs basically the same. I'm really liking it. So I may switch over to this from now on. And this I can get at my local Walmart. I've got a little downy wrinkle releaser here and you guys the big bottle is down there I have been asked if this stuff is worth the money and I would give it two humongous thumbs ups I do not do ironing you will see down here 
my irons down there and it was dusty it might still be dusty i have not used it in probably like two years seriously so that's just something i just do not do i do not iron so bleach here for the towels all of our towels are white and that is because so i can use bleach when they get a little bit of an odor and this is my magic spray here it is dawn and vinegar this stuff is amazing so i've started using it for stains i'll just spray that on there and let it set and it does help to get stains off of clothes down here this is another i wonder if this is made of favorites i need to check this is amazing here clorox 2 for colors my husband's clothes he is a football coach they can be pretty smelly kind of smelling like a locker room we started using this after trying several different things and this takes the stench out of his clothes you can't even tell that he was in a locker room after we use this stuff so this is just added with your detergent so highly recommend this got two things of vinegar down here because this one's almost empty oh yeah that's almost empty i use it as fabric softener for towels and then the big thing of the downy releaser this is a a huge plus in my house because like i said i don't iron so i've got one to stay here and then i've got a bottle that we can refill to take on trips third shelf so we're getting to the third and the fourth down here that we don't really use that often but i want to keep them just in case clips here clothes pins these honestly the clothes pins are used to close chips and bags but i just keep them here this is what we were using to try to battle the stench in my husband's clothes from football basically the sports smell and this does work but you guys i i just felt like it was leaving residue on his clothes i don't know like it smelled good but i just feel like it wasn't allowing the clothes to be clean y'all let me know what your opinion is of the downy unstoppables that'll be the common question for today what is the your opinion of the downy uh, what are they called scent boosters now here we have not used these in quite some time these are dryer sheets but i do i am keeping them just because we have them in case we want to use dryer sheets you guys i haven't really been using anything like that lately and i haven't seen that it's been a problem i've tried down here here's my iron and the little cup that goes with my iron and this is all things that go with the cart that we're not using this is an extra this came in like free it's like a little all i just have it down here in case you know we run out of detergent and need some really fast i've tried these wool dryer balls i don't like them they left static in my clothes and I, I just, I'm keeping them, but I just don't like them. Is there a trick to make it to where you don't have static on your clothes? Because honestly, I don't see the purpose of using them because if my clothes come out of the dryer and they have static, then that's defeating the whole purpose of the not using the dryer sheet because the dryer sheet eliminates um static as well and i know they're not good for the environment and they leave stuff on your clothes but I'm, i just have not had success with the wool dryer balls so you guys that is my laundry cart so everything that we need that goes along with the laundry is on one of these four shelves that is my slim laundry cart that has made my laundry super organized so i would love it in the comments below if you would share with us how you organize detergents and dryer sheets and all of those things how do you organize your laundry supplies i want to hear all about it in the comments below so you guys i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up it shows youtube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity also i hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.